This is a video on solving distance word problems. Uh, when we're talking about distance word problems, we keep in mind that key fact that our distance is equal to the rate times the time. Um, you might have used this in your everyday life, like an example down here below. If we travel at 40 miles per hour for three hours, you know, how far did we go? Well, we traveled a different uh, distance of 40 times 3, which gave us 120 miles. All right, so distance is equal to rate times time. This will be important when we solve these types of problems. Uh, let's take a look at an example. So Mike and Tony are brothers who share an apartment. Mike is training for a half marathon and leaves the apartment running at a rate of 5 miles per hour. Two hours later, Tony leaves the apartment and begins riding his bike down the same path at a rate of 12 miles per hour. How long will it take for Tony to catch Mike? So, first thing is, when we say how long will it take for Tony to catch Mike, that's what we're really looking for, right? So we should let our variable equal that. So, when I go to make my let statement, I'm going to say let x equal the time it takes for Tony to catch Mike. So, x is the time it takes for Tony to catch Mike. And now realize that if we're trying to figure out how long it takes them to catch up to each other, that means that they have to travel the same distance. All right, so when Tony catches Mike, they've traveled the same distance. So really we want an expression for Tony's distance, an expression for Mike's distance, and then set them equal to each other. And that's what we'll find here. So I'll do this setting up the chart. So we've got Tony. And we got Mike. And we're going to use our formula, the distance equals the rate times the time for each of them. Uh, but I'm going to start with rate first, then time, and then distance will be my last column. Because you find the distance by multiplying the rate and time together, so it's best to have the rate and time come first. So for Tony's rate, Tony's riding at a rate of 12 miles per hour, so we know his rate is 12. The time he travels is x, right? We don't know. We want to know how long it takes him to catch Mike. So his time traveled is x. So the total distance for Tony would be 12 times x, which is 12x. And now we have an expression for Tony's distance. Uh, similarly for Mike, right, Mike's training for a half marathon and leaves the apartment running at a rate of 5 miles per hour. So we know that his rate is 5, right? 5 miles per hour. The time he travels, now we don't know the exact time he travels, right? This is actually the time for Tony to catch Mike is x. So he, tra he left two hours before Tony, right? Tony left two hours later. So Mike's time is x plus 2 because he's been traveling for two more hours because he left earlier. And then his distance traveled would be 5 times x plus 2. All right, make sure you get that x plus 2 in parentheses because it's 5 times that whole whole thing. So now I have an expression for the distance for Tony and an expression for the distance for Mike. When they catch each other, you know, the distance for Tony should equal the distance for Mike, right? Because they're at the same place, so they travel the same distance. So really all I need to do is set these two distance equations equal to each other. These two distance expressions, I should say, equal to each other. So 12x is equal to 5 times x plus 2, and we'll do that on the next page. All right, so 12x equals 5 times x plus 2. And now you solve as normal. So we're going to distribute through here. All right, so we have 12x is equal to 5 times x is 5x. And 5 times positive 2, make that plus 10. And now you want to subtract 5x and subtract 5x. So you get x is on one side. So 12x minus 5x gives us 7x is equal to 10. And now divide by 7, divide by 7, we get x equals... 10 over 7, but that's not really, you know, a number that tells us much about the time that he traveled. So if you divide 10 by 7 on your calculator, we can round it to uh, one decimal place. It's fine. We get x is equal to uh, 1.4 hours. All right, so Tony will catch Mike after 1.4 hours. All right, here's a problem for you to try on your own. 